Lesson 12.3a, writing an equation to represent a real-world relationship. Many real-world situations involve two variable quantities in which one quantity depends on the other. We can represent this type of relationship with a table. We can also use an equation to model the relationship. The table shows how much Mr. Park earns by selling one, two, or three of his handcrafted birdhouses. Use the table to determine how much Mr. Park earns per birdhouse. Then write an equation that models the relationship between the number of birdhouses and earnings. Use our equation to complete the table. So, we can see if he sells one birdhouse, he makes $50. Well, the unit rate is one birdhouse for $50. We have one at $50, we know that's how much he makes for each birdhouse. We can use this to write a multiplicative equation. We can let E equal the earnings and B equal birdhouses. We have the earnings are equal to 50 times the number of birdhouses. Mr. Park's earnings depend on the number of birdhouses sold. The table's filled out for one, two, or three birdhouses. We need to find the value of the earnings for four birdhouses sold. We use our equation. The earnings is equal to 50 times the number of birdhouses. We substitute four for B, and 50 times four is 200. We know that we should put 200 here. For the next one, we substitute five for B and 50 times 5 is 250, we know this value is 250. Mr. Park's earnings, the E, is the dependent variable because his earnings depend on the number sold. And the number of birdhouses sold, B, is the independent variable that affects his earnings. And we can use the equation to find Mr. Park's earnings if he sold 16 birdhouses. We just substitute 16 for B and multiply. 50 times 16 is 800. That means the earnings are equal to 800. Mr. Park will earn $800. We can substitute any amount of birdhouses he sells for B to find how much he earns. Sophia has 10 shirts and each month she buys one shirt. Well, the number of shirts depends on the number of months. We'll know how many shirts she has. So she started with 10 shirts and then a month went by and she bought one. So now she has 11. Another month went by and now she has 12. This is additive. As X increases by one, Y increases by one. And y is always 10 more than x. Our equation is y is equal to 10 plus x. The number of shirts is equal to 10 plus the number of months. And Sophia reads 10 pages of her book each day. The number of pages depends on the number of days. One day she reads 10, two days she's going to read 20, three days she's going to read 30, and so on. This is multiplicative. As x increases by 1, y increases by 10. y is always 10 times more than x. 2 times 10 is 20, 3 times 10 is 30, and so on. Our equation is y is equal to 10x. See the difference? This is 10 plus x for additive, and this is 10x for multiplicative. This increased 1 and 1. This increased 1 for every 10. We can think of x and y values as input and output. Whatever x value we put in will be added to 10 and give us the y value. If we put in 2, it's going to add 10 to it, and we're going to have an output of 12. We have y is equal to 10 plus x. We would have 11 if we put a 1 in. We would have 12 if we put a 2 in. And the function of this machine is to add 10. Here we have a table of the number of lawns that are mowed and the earnings. 
We can look for a pattern in the given data of the table to help us write an equation. We look at the input and output values. If he mows one lawn, it's $20. Two lawns is 40. Well, 40 is equal to 20 times 2. 60 is equal to 20 times 3. 80 is equal to 20 times 4. And we see the pattern. This is going up by 1, and the y value is going up by 20. So our little function machine, if we put in a 2, it's going to multiply it by 20, and our output will be 40. Our equation is y is equal to 20x. The output is equal to 20 times the x value. We're finished with the first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, and we're going to continue learning about equations and tables. This is 12.3b, writing an equation based on a table. Keep trying your best, and I'll see you next time. Bye.